This is my so my story, and also my sub story, where it all began. It's going to be a brief demonstration, but here it is. I spent three years creating this book, or I should say several months, while I was having foot surgery. And these are the outcomes of uh, me making soap and putting my soap into a story. Yes, Pete Bellini. Daisies in the field. Now each of my soaps has a timeline to it, so you'll notice that. And I will also link up my web page of my designs. You can see fully illustrated of what took me quite a, quite a long time to make and create. All while I was having a foot surgery, the recovery time, the surgery went well. But the recovery time was pretty long. So while I was recovering, I was creating these book, these pages, while I was unable to walk and bound in a wheelchair. So this is my story again. And I created um, the soaps for them, but then I also put them into a book, said, why not document it? Here you are. Healing. This is the healing oil. It's very beneficial. Palo oil. Palo Santo. It's actually a wood face, but that's another story in itself. Sometimes you just need to have Simon Says a little fun. And diamonds are a girl's best friend. Each page is, it gives a full illustrated timeline of when the soap was created and when the page was created so you can understand the story way better when you read it. Next, a little chai latte mini salt scripts. Again, the timeline is there. You can see it was 2018, so this was a long time coming. And all while I was recovering from, again, my foot surgery. Even though the dinosaur movie has been played on and off and throughout the years, these were before the very second to the last movie it has was distributed out um, through the live stream. I created these soaps before then, and then I created the storyline after. So there's a big gap between them. Next, sometimes you just need to hold it together with buttons. And again, the timeline is there, the soaps are there, but which one is soap and which one is a button? Who knows? But I'm sure you'll clearly see which one is a button and which one is soap. You can't have your yin without your yang. So uh, these are again yin yang soaps. I found them. I created them. Created them, and it was a but nice balance counterbalance. And you can also see the picture to the right, the coffee green, the coffee bean before it gets turned dark with the roasting. So these are actually the coffee bean before and this is after the roasting. So it's a nice nice balance and I decided to add it to my album. Next, the soap is like a spa and I again the timeline is there. It was on it was, I was inspired to after all this work to take a pamper day and that's what I did. And when you get really creative you go Find your happiness. Well, I have found mine again, and I've come across the diamond rings. So there's a whole bunch of storylines in there, but again, it's a diamond ring that's created with soap. I don't know how I did it, but I did. And then I found the molds later on, so go figure. But when you find your happiness, you get inspired and you get creative. So there you go. Next, the peach bellini or the mimoso is actually a mimoso. It tastes like champagne orange juice which is a mimosa so yeah i might have scrambled that word a little bit but it's there anyway that's that is candle yellow daisy flowers that are dried and crushed and they're embedded in the soap and i found orange oil so it smells like an actual mimoso mimosa i can never pronounce that word so bear with me anyway this was back in 2019 
after my surgery and I was recovering, as I repeated quite a few times in this video. Next, <laughs> when you find your creative side, believe me, you will start getting more and more in tune to what works for you and what doesn't. And I did find that. Now, after many weeks, months of doing this, I finally found the Chill Pill Soap. And believe it or not, I found an oil that went with it. So it was an exact, it was exactly on time and right on time to get the soap created to chill out and just take a chill pill after all the hard work. So when you find your inspiration, you get creative and you keep on going. So hope you enjoyed this as I enjoyed creating this video. Um, stay tuned for more and also like and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more videos soon as I'm on my way to go to my second job and I'm going to be hopefully publishing this book very soon. It's a long time coming, so take care.